Good morning. This is Anne Stern from The Lakes. Um, today we're taking a look at Acts chapter 23. Now in this, in this chapter, it, it's almost a continuation of chapter 22 where um, Peter had, or not Peter, I'm sorry, Paul has uh, gotten into, um, he's been questioned um, by the Jewish leadership and they got very, very upset with him um, because he told them that the Lord was calling him to spread the good news to the Gentiles. So he's at the Sanhedrin in this scene, and they want to kill him. Um, so they, he's being mistreated. They've they punched him in the mouth, and um, so he's... He's thinking kind of, well, what can I do to get out of this situation? So there's Sadducees there and there's Pharisees. Now, those two sects do not get along. The Sadducees do not believe in life after death, but the Pharisees are very convinced of it. So Paul... Um, thinks about this and he decides that he's going to bring that up and he starts a quarrel between the Sadducees and the Pharisees about eternal life. Now things got so heated that the Roman soldiers came in and they they grabbed him and they spirited him away. Um, but there were 40 men from the Sanhedrin that got together and they made a vow to kill Paul. And they said, we are not gonna eat or drink until Paul is dead. Well, Paul's nephew got wind of this plot and he went to the head of the Roman soldiers and he said, you know, he explained what was going on. And um, Paul, er, Paul had told them that he was a Roman citizen. So the Roman soldiers, wanted to make sure they protected him. So they brought 200 soldiers and horses and they surrounded Paul and they whisked him out of there. Um, and uh, they brought him to Rome so he could stand trial there instead. Have you ever been in a situation where you feel surrounded on every side by the enemy? I know I felt that way. I felt already like there's no way out, you know, like, but it always feels like when I get into a situation like that, you know, if I pray, God always finds a way out for me. He always works things out the way that it should be. Um, he, he always makes a safe way for me to move forward. I encourage you that if you have a problem in your life today, Bring it to God in prayer. Listen and watch for God, how God is able to use the circumstances in your life for his glory. Thank you for listening today and for allowing God to use you in a mighty way. This is Ann Stern from The Lakes. Thanks.